Fuck with you guys, and this is a fucking minute long track. Make it worth it. Take that guy with you. Move it up, Vienna. Oh, hell no. Paris has nothing to do with Montreal. Paris is French. French are like, like but the, you know, cousins. We, you know, it's like, it's like yeah, we're related, related, but, and they're cool and everything. Yeah, we always have great shows in Paris, yeah. so like, we can't deny it. It's always good. Yeah, we have yeah. a good, good reception. People treat us really good. And uh, I think the fact that we do speak French, we have a certain connection, but, but we can't say it's like home. It's not no. like home. No, it's not home, but, but yes, we do have like good shows in Paris in general. And when we're setting up, we hear them scream us things, and yeah. like, they try to speak French Canadian to us, like saying like "tabarnak" and and all that crap. It's funny. They try to do our, our swear words. So. Yes, the, we did our festival run in uh, in Europe in 2009. I remember part of sound. I think we played it was like 12:30 or one oh, one o'clock. Yeah. We played really early. It was a good show, but we yeah. played early. So. There's actually a video on, like, on YouTube. It's us playing Nevermore. At, like, and I remember clearly before that show, we were driving from like Summer Breeze, no, from, uh, from Czech Republic, uh, Brutal Assault to Partizan, just to go do this, this set of 30 minutes at 12.30 in the morning. And right before playing, I was like, man, what the fuck, man? <laughs> and I look at this video and I was like, eh, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, it's cool. You know, <laughs> I think that's, yeah, those are like the two earliest shows we've ever done. Yeah, it was early as fuck. Hell no, man. You go on stage and you turn the switch on, man. Yeah. And you do what you gotta do, man. Show One person or a million on. people, it's the same thing, man. Yeah, Every pre person who's there paid the ticket to see us, so you got to give him a show, man. Like I said, if it's one person, well, he paid to be there, so you got to give him a show. Or else it's disrespecting the fans. Yeah, it's, even when we practice a song in a jam spot, we sometimes go crazy. The only difference is that we take way longer break between songs when there's, <laughs> when there's no one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but We'll pace ourselves a bit more if there's yeah. less people or less excited crowd, but you still got to give it your 100%, man. Like he said, show switch. Yeah, yeah, stay. Put the switch on. <laughs> like I said, he, that doesn't happen because you got to turn that switch on. You yeah. know, if you're sick, there's no sick days on tour. If you're sick, you play the show. Yeah, man. Um, you're not in the mood. You get in the mood. Yeah, you get. <laughs> you do whatever you got to do to get in the mood. And I don't know. Ask Avocado. <laughs> no, actually, actually, ask Ion Dissonance, man. Yeah. Dude, this is a call out to Ion Dissonance. Yeah, come on, guys. Bitch. Get bitches. Up, bitches. Come on. Yeah, they're, being, they're being even like. Man, they're doing like. They're, they're I, think, writing, I think they're writing music. And they're writing amazing music, but just like, you know, they're like, yeah, well, I don't know when we'll tour. And they're being even more bitches than we are. Yeah, they're about touring. We we're already don't come out that often, and they these are even worse than us, man. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. They're awesome. <laughs> Man, I like original titles, so it could be, you know, the backseat of a Mercedes best of, you know? It could be something cool like that. You never know, man, what yeah. we can come up with. It's always a mystery with us. I don't know. It would be like... Uh, uh, it's never me that choose the album title, so... <laughs> never you? Yeah, most of the time it's like comes out like from Seriously Chris. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Fun fact right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we would call it, but... Um, I don't see that happening. You gotta be original, man. <laughs> Just doing best of. Everyone's done it before, so you yeah. gotta you gotta put something out there, make people think. Ooh, what is this? It would it's probably weird. be called "Listen to All This CD and Get a Headache for Show." Sure. Yeah, the headache CD. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Vocal, vocal wise, to be honest, the hardest fucking track of this CD 
were the one I nailed the most because I was almost scared of you know when 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 we're writing we don't practice that much the entire band together so I'm more like with the pre prod and imagining imagining the the, the the vocal patterns so when it comes in studio I'm like God I man I fuck I I hope I can do it that fast <laughs> and uh, songs like Symptoms it goes pretty fast and the left hand too that tapping at the beginning man that was pretty chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was not an easy task. Let me tell you that. Yeah. But it ended up that you 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 practice so much those parts that you get in studio and you do it in one take or something. And uh, the one that are easier sometimes you end up taking more takes because you, you underestimate the track or something. Yes. Yes. The last track. But it wasn't because it didn't make it like uh, we didn't like it or anything. But it was more um, not enough space. Be, no, it's because we we, we we wrote that track like uh, not even a year after Dystopia was released, and it didn't really fit with the EP. The EP was like an old thing, like and and there was no place for uh, for on Earth uh, on uh, on Earth on this track on this CD. So. Uh, it actually was the last track that we finished, finalized for for the for the full length. Also, and to be honest, like it's one of my favorite track of the album. It's just that I don't know. The problem is I still know most of them as working titles, <laughs> so we call it Metroid and Me. Metroid and Me, which is pedestal, 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 pedestal. Yeah, pedestal sounds too much like like you know pedestal. Pedestal, I don't know. Yeah, Pedestal is my favorite song. <laughs>